Hey, welcome back to Mr. Repair Shop. We're in the basement. You know what that means? It's a pole video. So we went to DeWitt today, Dad and I did, um, for the last pole for Eastern Iowa. And we last my last pole before baby Bibster's here. So uh was a pretty good day. It was a little hot. Track was really I equated to what I assumed the surface of the moon would be like. Cause it was like a almost like like the dust is almost like a powder and there's a really hard underneath that so you're really weren't digging into it but you had to deal with this like wherever you dig wherever if you were able to dig into the dirt at all it just kind of turned into a powder so they could try and pack it back in but there really wasn't much there um really really hard track which as we all know my tractor seems to like that so i'll show you what we normally do see a bunch of the clips here and then i'll come back and we'll talk about my pulls Sounded so loud. Don back there firing up. Oh, he's getting light. I don't know where our bounds is, but he might discover it.
started yet or no. I mean no. I wouldn't think so. We're still pretty pretty green around here. Well Dave was like, I'm not used to starting this early in September. stock yeah, which I was actually talking not, to uh yeah. when I when I bought those weights I was talking to him about because he said he bought that he bought his new tractor down in Oklahoma and he said down there all they run is uncut and cut and he said and it just works out well and I was sitting there going hey I think I know who's gonna be running I was like yeah it'll still be I still would like to have it where the bottom class that entry level class is set up where Joe Schmo with with grandpa's old tractor can come out and play not be completely beat because you just make it where it's like oh you have a ton of power, but at three mile an hour, 18 inch hit height, don't matter. It looks like it's getting pretty nice there. It's pretty wide. How when they how they how they yeah. redid that road.
right point. I think so. So, 5,500 pounds, my phone was acting goofy, so dad used his, and when you go from a Samsung device to, or an Android device to an iPhone, and you send it through a messenger, sometimes it'll end up looking like it was filmed on a potato. So this is what happened this time, so I just didn't, I decided not to, uh, get rid of that. Um, I decided not to put it in. It, it, it wasn't that good of a pull. It, like I said, it was a pretty hard track. Kind of went down where everyone else was going. Didn't really vary too much to kind of see what the tractor did. Ended up getting third place out of like five tractors in that class. So that was pretty good. Um, ended up really well in there. So we'll, uh, I'll bring you back when I'm in the little corner and I'll talk about the 6,000 pounder. All right, 6,000 pound class. So what I did is I did my wheel weights like I always do. Put five Kubota weights and one of my new uh, mini suitcase weights that weigh about 75 pounds on the back was right at 7,000 with the amount of fuel on there with me on there or 6,000 I can't talk and I pulled I went a little bit to the left of where everyone else was going so my left tire was in that where the powder really been just kind of piling up a little bit and I don't know if that helped but the M did a good job it grunted and uh, ended up I don't know what the distance I could never hear but I got first place in the class which was really good it was like six tractors in there some really good competition so that was fun that was I got done and I knew I'd done pretty well and I had so I was um, in 5500 I pulled like near the end of the class and then I pulled first in the class in six so I had to like 
hustle to get the weights on there. So I got the weights thrown on there, and then by the time I got the weights on, I heard it. I was like, oh. So that was exciting there to pick up the win. We'll show you the full deal. Alright, so 65, I had already come off of the getting the win in the six. So I put uh, all six Kubota weights on the back of my behind me on that little on my, on my platform. And then I did two more of the small weights back there. I did my IH weights on the mid plate and I did my two more of the smaller 75 pound suitcase weights on the mid plate as well. Got me at like 64, 80 or something like that within 20 of you know, perfect. So again, did the same kind of a thing, hooked up, started to go to the left. When I got to near the end of the track where the tractors that were packing it, packing it, wasn't really good with the pack much, were going and turning around as so we got really powdery and it started to pull me to the right, pull the front end up and the M kept running and I ended up just uh, spinning out there, but picked up the win in 65, which if you all know, if you watch my videos, there's a 560 in that class that is really, really good. And um, I was able to beat him somehow. So again, it comes down to, I think, with as hard as this track was, I think having the narrower tires is better because you can bite a little bit. And he runs with 18-4s, so Mike does not have been able to get enough weight on the back of it to really bite it. So we'll come back. All right, so yeah, that's the last poll of the year. Got some work to do on the M in the off season. It's here at the house now because, you know, as I said, winners get to come home. When I got second place out of two, I had to go out to the farm for a week and sulk. But uh, I'm going to do some stuff with the winner, propane. Um, I'm going to do that propane intake. I'm going to work on the hitch because right now I can't adjust the hitch. And the hitch is, I'll show you in the next video. We're going to kind of go over everything I'm going to do on the tractor over the winter. I'm going to put smaller front tires on it. Just some little things to get it all ready to go next year. And then it'll go out to the farm probably right around after the time. I'll probably try and get it out to the farm after Christmas because it's because of one today, it gets to be the tractor in the front yard for the Christmas display, which we'll talk about that later. But again, thanks for liking and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, um, hit that little button, hit the bell to be notified when videos go live because as you can see now, it's, it's all sorts of times of night. And uh, we'll see you on the next one, which we'll be back to working on stuff um, until baby comes. And once baby comes, there's probably like a month of no videos just because of I'm going to be... I'm gonna be a dad, so I gotta be kind of focused on that. But we'll uh, we'll br we'll still bring you along for some stuff. We got some other we got some other new purchases that we got over the weekend that we got to show you. Probably a video come out this week on that. We'll see you the next one. Bye. Yep. Oh yeah, that might work. Not now. Well, plus we'll wait to see whatever. I mean, I'll put some weights in the back of my truck for winter. Yeah.